All right, all right, we back, we back. Uh, Thank You Minds Podcast. We appreciate y'all for tuning in, being patient with us. We still working out the kinks, getting everything going. We know a lot of people trying to tune in, get to us. We try to go live. We try to do different things, you know, and uh, get y'all some content out. Uh, The purpose of our podcast is to uh, help y'all think. Uh, Disclosure, what we say is not here to try to hurt anybody, offend anybody, just to make you think a little bit, you know, just make you think. Uh, I am Max C. They call me Max C. Don't sleep. Who I got in the building. You know the answer to the question to be or not to be. So boy meant to be. Two thirds. Body pines. Thinking is free. Three or three, right. man. Three or three. You know, we are the original members of Thinking Minds Podcast. Appreciate all the guests to stop through. If you are into uh, our content and you would like to get on the show, make sure you hit the email uh, underneath, hit the links underneath. This is sponsored by Holy Water All Natural Products, W H O L E E Water.com. You see moss and all that type of stuff. So, uh, how y'all doing? What's going on? What's going on? Well, start with me here. Um, I went up to the zoo this weekend with the family. To the zoo? Yeah, I went to the zoo. Anything interesting at the zoo that you could think of that our listeners would be like, I made it out alive. That was pretty good. Um, yeah. Um, funny or not, you know, it was a little scary because first time ever, it was when I'm 31 years old. Wow. I got a one and almost half year old daughter. And so it was mostly like my first time using her as an excuse to like, you know, <laughs> it was honestly. Um, but a lot of very interesting thing. The baboon were very interesting. Um, the zebras, the giraffe were very interesting. Very interesting because of the way they walk. Yeah. They were very graceful in that walk. So hold on. So you from Africa and never, never seen a giraffe, never seen a giraffe or a uh, zebra? Life. None of these animals I've ever actually seen in my life. So do they have these animals in Africa? Because it's crazy. Okay. What are you talking about? The whole thing is, right, saying they were in Africa. Yes. <laughs> they have them in Africa. Did they have it in Liberia? No. Yeah. We have a bunch of monkeys that throw shit at you and baboons and <laughs> and antelopes. It is like this is what God blessed us with. So yeah. everybody just assumed that like um I have a story actually, a pretty interesting story here where um I have a friend that we met in middle school and before we came to malls, right, seventh grade year, we met a church camp. And he's like, you are from Africa? Yeah, you're going to go to Moss? He's like, yeah. I yeah. said, I'm going to go to Moss. I'm like, that's awesome. Yeah. I know somebody already. That's great. He's like, we got to tell people an interesting story about you. I told him, you know, my whole life. Oh, and everything. He's like, nah, none of that sound interesting. We're going to tell them you kill a lion. And I'm like, no, we are not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah. we we agree and we made this story, right, that I killed a lion. And bro, that story, like, caught fire. Like it just no no it caught fire like ridiculously everybody believed it. Um it took me to my junior year in church. I saw this grand like this old woman came to me. She's like, I've been wanting to ask you this. I heard you killed a lion when you were like and I was like no ma'am no I cannot lie to you. I did not kill a lion. <laughs> I did not kill a lion. And so like year passed started working at Tony's here again, right? Started work, working at Tony's. My boss he already heard this story from Lexington. I worked at Tony's there too. So he comes here. He's like, yo, he killed a lion. Right. Out of nowhere, it spread in the entire restaurant. Every customer. That's crazy. Please tell us about the story of why he killed a lion. I'm like, I'm not about to start lying here again. Like, That's so crazy. it came back and surfaced. So, but seeing a lion for the first time, yeah, I could have taken him. I, I think I could have taken him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think I could have taken him. No, no, no. But, but it was pretty interesting though. They are very, wow. Do you think any of the so this is this is kind of crazy because I've always since I've you know been on my spiritual awakening walk that it would be hard I wouldn't say it would be hard to tame animals but to tame some of these wild animals like that and put them in these environments even in their blood it seems like that they wouldn't be able to be contained to these environments. So do you think that they like are genetically messed with? There was a lot of question about it, honestly. 
um, as I saw them, most of them you saw that they were truly tame. The term tame, that is, it means like it's even tamed uh, and domesticated is two different. Things, explain, right? Explain that for them. So tamed means that they're still basically cage broke. Like they would sit in a cage and don't fuck with them too hard, and they'll probably be docile. Domesticated would be like playing fetch. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or yes. like using them for some type of work. Yes. Yeah. But well, some of those animals are like domesticated. Yeah. Some are trained to entertain for the crowd. So doesn't it take right? a long time to domesticate? And different animals, it takes longer, longer to yes. domesticate. So like, like cats have not been domesticated like dogs have, right? But they go They're people. different type of animals too. Like a cat's not going to bring you shit. And, like, when you get home, a cat's not there wagging its tail happy to see you. You know, they always make the joke that the cat is looking at you like, where the fuck you been? Where's my food at? And the dog, you know, he's just goofy as hell. He's going to run up and lick you and shit. And the cat ain't going to do that. But, like, if they could take people, you know, you have badass kids with ADHD or people that are psychologically messed up and they shoot them up with Thorazine and this type of stuff and it, Shuts them down. Why couldn't they do that with animals? Like no, it I've, seems, or they, even um, clones. They honestly had to have. Yeah, I'd say they, they honestly did. had to have because most of them don't have the that most of that instant. Yeah, right? yeah. like like the animal instant animal. They are mostly circuits, and they are used to that. That that's the thing. Like they are used to it. Like like the lion enjoy coming to lay down. And being watched, the lions like posting and stuff. That's crazy. Like, 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 like you understand, right? Like, and they're fed too, right? They're not like hungry. Yeah, so they're, they're, a they're, lion they're, in yes. the wild is looking for. Yes, his he's next looking meal. for his next meal. Like <clears throat> these other gators are coming up to our like, and they are like admiring hum- humans and stuff. Like the hippo, I literally like the hippo to me was the biggest like, what the yeah. moment? Like it was huge. Hippo was huge. I was like, okay, it doesn't make them justice on TV. Like, they are very large yeah. animals, right? Right. So, you see those animals, and they are, like, opening their mouth, playing, coming to the humans, and, like, flipping their head, trying to know what is going on. So, do you think, like, if you break one, just say, like, the lion is broken. Like, he's broken already. They broke him, or they genetically messed with him, or they shot him up with medication, and he has kids with the kids. They won't have this. to do too much to the kids. Yeah, I see this. Do right. you think that a hippo in the wild, if if kids were swimming on the other side, you know, like just Get with the a fuck out of the water. Yeah, do do you think if there was just a glass, right? That like the hippo and just like so do you think the hippos in the wild will be contained with other people being on the side just oh, like that, no. that close and they're okay with, do, do you think so? Hell no. Do your thing like... I see where you're going with this. Yeah. Because like, that's the biggest thing like... Could you put a zoo outside? Yes, outside an actual place where you just let the people in there. You know what? Nobody's going to hurt the animal or do anything. Like the safari the rides? The kangaroos, right? The kangaroos, right? Yeah. They are right here. And it makes me want to go to Australia and see how close can I get to an actual kangaroo. They'll come right up to you. In their actual space. And they don't care. Right? Like. Kangaroos move like people, though. Kangaroos like, but the thing are is, fucking right? weird. Man. Yeah. What if they are like a group of people in the same place? Does it not make them like anxious? Does it not make them like nervous? I've seen can- like, videos of them kangaroos like squaring up, with yeah, humans and then waiting out in the water to try to get, yeah, to come out. Not these are how they how here. they escape from the gazelles and then come back and like attack the gazelles. <laughs> yeah. Like it's like not crazy. this one. And these guys are laying around like they've been smoking some good blunt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're, they're chilling like take a picture, like yeah. Like, I, I'm scared, and the kid is just well, trying to go down and play. it's routine to them to see all them people come through there. Constantly, bro. But you got to think, too, like I was saying, like, say one was, you know, when zoos first started, and they was breaking these animals, taming them, shooting them up with stuff. I'd say a lot of people lost their arms and legs. Yeah, and, but and over time, time, their genetics of them being calm animals, mm-hmm. 
would pass on, wouldn't you think? Like as like over time, yeah. You know, they start to forget my, that they're a kangaroo. Are they rescuing them, or are they like are they preserving them? But you, they still have. What's that the purpose of zoo? Primal instinct, even if it's a small percentage, and your dog still has it huh? too. What's Look the at purpose the way of your zoo? dog acts when when a when a full Petting. moon or anything, or if he hears coyotes outside, how he fucking yeah. reacts to it. Yeah. What's the purpose of the zoo? Why do we have zoos? I mean, yeah, money. Because it doesn't make it's any a, sense why the animals are there. It's an exotic thing for real because, like, you got to think, like, it we, is. we have an experience of, like, like I said, when I ask you about giraffes and stuff like that, like, if you, like, just say we're somewhere and we we see deer all the time. Now, we see deer all the time. If you caged them up, we wouldn't want to go look at them because we see them all the time. In like, a, you know what I'm saying? In a perfect like, world, I think it's – preserving nature and wildlife for people that don't see it every day. Maybe, why don't you let them they, out here they, in this wild? Maybe they come and see it. And Why then, don't hey, you let them out in the wild here? Though? Because they're a danger to, to us. You see, that's the thing, yeah. though. But that's the thing. I well, understand. They're I understand. Danger understand, to like, themselves, no, too. Yeah, yeah. Danger no. to we selves. Yeah. Are they killing each other back in Africa? Who? The lions. Yeah. No, don't know why he's gonna build a extent. house next to a lion's den. Are you? No, no. I'm saying like, of course not. Of course not. But but the thing is right. <laughs> yeah. Like, there, I understand. Like, yes, we love this and we want to see it. But there's a difference between I want to cage it in a cage so that it doesn't go anywhere. Yeah. yeah. Right. I love it so much that when I want to see, I push a buddy and the light come on and it must be there. It has to be as happy as I want it to be. That's to me is become the issue. Yeah. It's like, do you ever let them out to go to the wild and then they come back? In? Like, no. like back home, right? We have chickens, right? You open the bag, the chicken come back in. Yeah, believe it or not, the you can call the crew, but chickens, I think they know that their eggs get taken and eaten by humans. I've seen chickens literally get angry at somebody, and every time that person walk past them, they attack that person, and you are like, they remember me. This freaking chicken hates me, like so. You understand they have that kind of in instant, right? But a chicken will still come back home every day into a bag, knowing that we would take one and to eat roost. it to, to, to yeah. tomorrow. You understand, yeah, right? They yeah. it come back every day. So I'm saying if these animals, right, have this instant and they do like the zoo, that there's a chance like like the Lion King or like... Or the like, Play-Doh no, thing? No, 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 no. Think about the Play-Doh Mad, thing. Mad, 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 like, like Madagascar. Sorry about the start of that. Um, like Madagascar, right? Alex will return back to the zoo because he prefers the zoo over the wild. Right? Isn't that the idea? So why don't you at least give these lions a chance and see if they go out on it, they'll be like, nah, I want to come back to the zoo. <laughs> but they don't have no rights to Africa or Brazil or... Nothing. Like, you know, it's like if you can't let a, a let lion a grizzly, out... A grizzly bear out and, and, and you know, Lost down. River yeah. <laughs> and run around. <laughs> but, but also, it yeah. would be kind of like the Play-Doh, what's it called? Allegory of the cave. The allegory of the cave of if you did let one out, he probably wouldn't go. But that's the thing. No, no, no. What? Just yes, like the would. thing we just watched. If the, you think about the thing we just watched. Okay. You've been caged up your whole life. But that's that's the thing. That's the only thing. Eating. Only if you've been caged up your whole life. Because right. Martinez, right? They have these things like, oh, we rescued this order. And it was like 30 years ago. Why is it still doing here? Or like it can swim around and do everything. It been rescued, it been it was injured, it been saved. Will you let it go back? Like will you free Willie? No. Is Willie gonna die in your tank? That that's what I kinda feel like. I had a pet raccoon that would come back. Uh, when he got a pet raccoon, he, hold on. <laughs> you, had, you were one of those? I've had two raccoon. I've had two pet raccoons. Yo. The that's first crazy. one I had him the first one that I had the longest. He when he got so big. And so fucking wild that, like, we couldn't have him in the house no more. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so That's we, what, scary. Wait, hold on, hold on. We, yeah, 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 raccoons yeah. are scary. Whenever you say wild, what do you mean? Like, he's from Russell. He Hill, would like. just, all right, so if we would be chilling in here right now, Max C would have his elbow over the couch. Dude, like, we might not have seen him for, like, an hour or two. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, he would just run up out of nowhere and just – Playing, grab Maxie's elbow and just take off. You know what I'm saying? Or 
like if we have like little Swisher suites down by the couch, you know, uh, back then we'd, we'd play Xbox a lot. We were sitting on the couch, and then you'd reach down and your shit would be gone. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, he would steal shit, and stash it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, raccoon He's a raccoon, shit, bro. Don't they? Yeah. I see him ninja crowing around. Yeah, <laughs> but, like, he, he got so wild, like, and, and the older he got, he was a, he was what they call a boar, I guess, you know. He was a male. So, I think that was part of his problem. But he just didn't really have time for you. He wasn't like a pet. Like, when he was little, he was a pet. But the older he got, he didn't really... Like when we let him out, he would he'd want to go do his own thing. You know yeah. what I mean. So eventually, it was like, man, we just you know you gotta let him go. Yeah. So but, the, so something else crazy. Do they ever so, let a zoo animal go? So this is this is going with what you're saying, and this is probably a question for you. Uh, do you think that they're genetically fucking with animals, breeding them, doing different things, creating animals, and letting them loose? And, you know, being from Liberia, you said that they tested, you know, animals. A lot of. Do you think I believe that- Liberia is one of the supplier and even where they release most of the tested monkeys. What do like, you mean by tested monkeys? Like that, I mean, I'm not, not in Liberia specifically, there's an island of monkeys off of Liberia coast, I believe, next to it. But still, I mean. Do you know the I'm name gonna, of that island? Um, no, but I will look on that and get back to you on that. Yeah. But um, I mean, they. Tag. I mean, like AIDS and stuff like this. What you saying? Yes, like, no, like Ebola. I believe one of the Ebola monkeys were tested there, and then really, and that's the thing. These some of these tested animals have to get released back, right? By the, by the rights or whatsoever, you, you can kill the animals, right? After you test them, you have to release them. Wow. So like, and but most people don't know that. Most people think like yeah. once you test these animals, that means the fail ones still gotta be released back. Even the one that got a disease, you can kill them. Is literally against because you have animal activists saying you can't kill the animals, so it like, but it's okay to test on them. So that's where so like the where monkey pox think, and all that stuff come from. So huh? yeah, but you don't understand. So but but and then, and I hope that is these animals go down there and either may maybe die off or maybe don't get a chance to come from that island to ever get there or nobody will ever go to that island because it's a monkey island. Like that type of idea, you know, like we get the second place, like like the. Oh, that's a field experiment, but we can kill the mon- monkey, so we're gonna put it back there. Yeah. They, they they don't take that monkey and keep it in the zoo here. Right? That is not or the do, field or, experiment. Or no. do they? Because think about this. No. Not, not the experimented monkeys that are experimenting with disease, but the experiment ones yes. that are smart. Smarter, yes. Those that are wanting to keep here. Yeah. They they want one that they have broken that have contained like this baboon that sat down there and watched. Every single human, and you look at a Bible and you say, If that if it want to leave this place, yeah, not one person here could stop <laughs> have a fist to stop it. Yeah, his teeth about that. Yeah, you understand, right? Yeah, yeah. it looks seen, at us like, Have you seen the ones that put the blocks in and play the computer games <laughs> and stuff? Think about how many they had to go through and experiment on to get to that one, but they take the one that went crazy and they put it back there. Right, yeah. so it go down there and it make everyone else, everything else go crazy. Yeah, right. It go like yeah. what in the world is wrong with this dude? Yeah, they, they, it's Bobby they, Smurda. Yeah, <laughs> they, 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 <laughs> yo, yeah. yeah. So that's cra- that's something to think about though, because you think like they they probably have more leeway. Well, they do have more leeway with animals to experiment on. That's why I experiment on rats and monkeys. Monkeys are more likely to be like humans. Yeah, don't they do like shampoos and shit? Like back in the day, didn't Paul Mitchell and all them get in trouble for testing like their products on yeah. fucking if the I'm skin not of animals and this stuff? Girl, like, if I'm not mistaken, this and I know I'm not, there was a lady that was birthed that birthed a child back home that did have the form of a monkey, had a tail and everything. And and the rumor or the conspiracy was she was raped by apes, or she was raped by like. And that's the reason. But, like, you know, that was just, like, the conspiracy of people are, like, because it, the child looked the way it looked. Yeah. So, like, it makes you quite a question whether what, what or not, like, there is, like, a smart ape that they have released, that they can release back there, that is capable of, like, knowing the distinguish between a female woman and a male man that's capable of walking walk, out at night and doing certain things that are, like, conceding with women. Those kind of things, that, right? It does. Because what we are so capable of now, yeah, it makes you question. 
when a place like Africa that is not watched, like security was, not everybody know what's going on. Yeah. What is it that these powerful humans? There's a lot of dark do? corners. What do they there. do there? Yeah. That you don't know, bro. That you don't know about. That you just it, it, it's 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 fascinating to think about, but it's ter- terrifying. It is. Cause, it's cause like think a, about this too. Instead of sending the crazy ones back, send the smart ones back. I'll just watch Planet that would of the be Apes. yeah, I, 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 but that would be just, crazy slowly, because right? slowly, think about it one like, at a time. If you have two, the, the ones two, that can do the you know, because I've seen the videos where they take the blocks and they play video games or whatnot and take them and put them back in their environment and what would happen to the rest of them? Well, just just think like an animal like a orca or a dolphin if they were like dry land animals. No damn telling, like, we might be in trouble. Like, yeah. them, th- they're smart as hell, man. Like, they got their own, like, dialect and language and shit yeah. that they well, talk they, to each other. I, I was talking to somebody yesterday, and it was crazy because we mentioned dolphins, and dolphins are supposed to be, like, melanated animals or whatnot, and they communicate, like, telepathically through, you know, and they say that's how we used to be as people. You know, we didn't have to communicate like this. You know, we could communicate from a distance. I like mean, th- yeah. like dolphins. I mean, you know yeah. what I'm saying? The, the whole thing is, right, like our evolving, I think the way we evolved is different than how other animals evolved, right? right? Other animals evolved on one instant and they evolved on an instant to a high, right? Like an elephant get big and it get big and it get big and strong. Like humans, we evolve in so many ways. We learn how to speak. Oh, we used to do so now. Now we are like so now it's the same, but it's the cell phone now. Like we just keep evolving to like different way to make it easier than than yeah, just we, sitting there and tool oriented. Like we use tools for so much. Yes, you know. And yeah. but because of that, we evolve in different. I'm talking about we evolve in different. We evolve in different ways. Yeah. In different places too, than just like like flying like the birds. Maybe one day we could fly like the bird, but we got bored and we said we're just gonna do plane. Yeah, like you understand, right? Like, and it's not like we don't know what flight is. We just don't want to put it on our physical body and animal. Yeah. And because of that, I just be sure, like I said, our evolving is not bad. It seems like it's bad. It's just like we are too smart for our own good. Yeah. Like that's our own thing. Like, like the lion, like they said, lions sleep for sixteen to eighteen hours a day. Yeah, I think humans should only eat, sleep, fuck. Eat, sleep, fuck. <laughs> Eat, sleep, fuck. We wouldn't or, be doing nothing there. What, yeah, we what no else is there? Why do we do anything right. else? That literally should be all that we do. You should sleep for 18 hours. You wake up. You got a woman. You have sex. You yeah. go right back to sleep. If she's pregnant, you are literally like wake up, eat, go to sleep. Wake up. The baby come if out. You- you're continuing. If you and die at 60, you'll be asleep 40 you're years. You'll be asleep 40 years. That's fucked up. But you no. know, you will look like still like, you will look so great. Yeah. You will look like, say, you are asleep. Yeah. You will just be sleeping for a long time. They'll be like, nah, I, it's not that. It's just, we, we are used <laughs> to sleeping. But instead, we do other things, right, during the day to strain our body to die faster and make us feel like, they say, we are so special on this earth. Yeah. It's annoying. And all that you did it because y'all were born before me. And so I'm just following suit, and it pisses me off. Yeah. All I want to do is eat, sleep, and fuck. Yeah. That, that, that's it. We're going to wrap this one up. We're going to wrap this one up, man. Thank you, Mom Podcast. We coming back. Them, man. Tell, them what, uh, tell them what you got, you know. So. Y'all, y'all know what? If y'all like this, and as we grow, if y'all like this, please go ahead and like and subscribe on this channel, and follow us, and share everything. Share everything. So Thank you, Mom Podcast. Be.